Well, hello everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, where am I? As you know, I have been recording daily devotionals since 2008. I've been doing them for a long time. And uh, I always know that I've got them on. I'm prepared for them. I'm prepared for it for today. And uh, you wouldn't believe it. I'm having a working out of the office day to day and I forgot. Can you believe I haven't done that very often in all the years that I've been doing these. And I got a message from Scott a few minutes ago who does the editing to say, where's the daily devotional today? And sure enough, I haven't sent it um, or recorded it. So I'm doing some writing at the moment about how do we reach more people and share the gospel with more people. And, and uh, I'm, as I say, I'm, I haven't got any of my stuff, so I'm just doing it like this. And uh, I pray it blesses you with all of the noise and all of the movement and the people watching saying, what's that strange person doing? Well, anyway, this weekend is the mission event. It's going to be fabulous and I pray that you'd be deeply blessed by it. Can I, if you have not registered, go and register now. Now, if you have not seen the daily devotional from yesterday, I would encourage you to do so. If you're someone who you genuinely, in your conscience, can't afford the mission event, I don't want anyone to miss out. If you write this code into, go to the address and write this code, we will send it to you for free. And for those of you who are who have all written in and said that you would love to sponsor someone or a group of people, you can, if you send a, a message to this email address, we'll talk to you about how to do that. Please God, many people will be reached by the gospel. So with all these people watching me, around me, and people walking by, let, I want to read to you this, so from the scriptures what I have prepared for today. And it says from Matthew 18, verse 10, Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you, in heaven, their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. What's it saying? It's saying this, that in heaven, every, uh, our angels uh, are in the presence of God. Uh, what do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the 99 on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly, I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99 that never went astray. So it is uh, not the will of your father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. I've always loved this passage of scripture. And, and part of the reason I've loved it is because one of my brothers, when we were growing up, really had some trouble, you know, troubles in life. And he got himself into a whole, he got himself into a whole variety of trouble. And my father deeply loved him, and as he loved all of us. And even though some of us didn't need that kind of care, my dad was a, a, would stay awake on weekends for him when he came home late from doing the things that he was doing. My dad was always there to counsel him and talk with him. And, and, and he, was, he, was, he was our brother in many ways who was lost. And today he's a fine man. And, and the reason is, is because my dad never gave up on him. And, and in a sense, that's always been my image of what God is like toward us, that God doesn't give up on us. He just doesn't. And today, if, if that's where you are at, if you're in a place where you need God to come after you, absolutely know that he will. The mission event is a lot about that this coming weekend, and I pray it blesses a lot of people. But I want you to know that God is with you. This passage, You read this verse of Scripture, it says that, the, children, the children's angels are in the presence of God. And that's where we get some of the theology around angels and, and even having a personal angel that is in the presence of God. Because what does it say directly? It says, and I tell you in heaven, their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. Their angels. And so, so this whole idea of angels and us having an angel that's watching over us and is in the presence of God, it, we find in the scriptures. And then we see, and then we, Jesus goes on and he says, no one's going to be abandoned. The Father keeps searching for us. So if you have children, if you've got a husband or a wife or someone that maybe seems far from God right now, know this, God has not given up. God has not given up. And we don't see people's hearts. We don't see all that God does, but God has not given up. And, and just like my father never gave up on my brother, 
He never gave up on him, no matter what the trouble he got himself into, the things that he did. And it would, it would break my mum and dad's heart at times. Uh, but he's a fine man today. And I put it down to the love of my, my dad and also my mum. They were there. And I think our Father in Heaven is just like that. Loving Father, I come before you today and I just pray, Lord God, that this mission event that's coming on the weekend, it would touch the lives of many, many people. May it touch their lives powerfully. Lord God, have your will in people's lives. And as I sit out here, Lord, with all the people going by and people staring from the side, Lord, I just pray that you would, that you would, Lord God, allow us, us to see you as you see us and don't let us be abandoned. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, God bless you all, everybody. Uh, and don't forget, wherever you are, God is never, ever far from you. Now, Scott will be happy now that I haven't forgotten the daily devotional. Can you believe that after all these years, I forgot to record it today? I was ready, but I just didn't record it. As a matter of fact, I'm wondering whether this is better. I mean, maybe, maybe I just work out of the office all the time and just sit in cafes and, and do it from here. I, let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe this is the new format. Maybe this would be, would be better. I, I certainly get stared at by a lot enough people. Hey, God bless you. See you tomorrow.